we put sandbags in the foundation and have done everything we can to just prepare ourselves and we're just waiting for the rain now. Minutes later, the skies opened up over Manchester. Four houses in particular have been plagued by flooding in recent years. You can see the water line from the last storm on the fence. This is time lapse video of a recent storm taken from Josh Greenstein's home. Today is a unique situation because we had a you know six hour notice on the flash floods. Homeowners have begged the city to help, citing aging infrastructure that simply can't handle a sudden onslaught of water like the severe storms that moved through Tuesday. There's nothing you can do to stop it. it once it's coming in, it's coming in. So the first time this happened in 2016, we all kind of freaked out and in the end the fire department had to come pump out our houses. For the first time ever, the Department of Public Works crews proactively came to Maple Street with sandbags and to pump road barricades and... What they're doing behind us is they're actually cleaning the drains. We were doing everything we can to try to minimize any of the water getting into the backyards because they are lower than the street, so it is a natural gathering point for uh, rainwater. As predicted, Maple Street flooded. The difference this time, a pump already in place, a strategy that the city may be using more of in the future. we got to start treating these rainstorms like snowstorms and start setting up for them. So it's a good news, bad news situation here. They still took on water here at the Greensteins, three and a half feet in the backyard, but it's already been drained out thanks to that pump that was put in place. They're down in the basement right now. They've been pumping for the past hour or so, and they had a pretty quick turnaround time. They've got this down to a science. He tells me they're now in shop vac mode. That's the latest here in Manchester. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.